It's Rachel Elizabeth here, and for this Meals on Monday recipe, which you can pretty much make any day of the week, I decided to give you another crock pot recipe because I just got such amazing feedback on the last one. So, without further ado, here's my lemon herb crock pot chicken. Enjoy, and let me know what you think in the comments below. Now, go out there and cause fitness. <laughs> Okay guys, this is Rachel Elizabeth again, and I am showing you just how incredibly simple it is to make this lemon herb crock pot chicken that I'm telling you about. So all you need is a couple of spices, I'll show you here in a second, but you are going to take an onion, a small onion, and you're, I, I like the sweet onions, but you can use a yellow onion, red onion. You chop it up, and what you're going to do, and this is already cooking, I tried to make a video earlier that didn't actually work, but let me show you how amazing this looks. I'm ruining it! Ah! I'll put the lid back on in a second. So, what you're going to do is you get one of these young chickens between four and six pounds, and you stuff it with that chopped onion. So make sure you get all those, those giblets, giblets, however you say that. Get all the parts out of there, rinse it out, and stuff it with that chopped onion. And then what you're going to do, it's so easy, look how good this looks. I feel like an infomercial right now. But, okay, so you take this chicken, you put it in here, stuff it with onions, put it in the pot. Um, I like to spray the pot just so nothing sticks to the edges, but um, this, what you see here, is all fresh cilantro, uh, fresh lemon that I, I uh, so I, I took olive oil and I basically rubbed it into the chicken on top, on top of the skin. And then I squeezed each half of these, these, uh, this lemon over the entire chicken and then put this fresh chopped up cilantro all over it and I if you I don't know if you can notice if you can tell but I kinda like cilantro so there's a lot of it and then uh, I proceeded to sprinkle the following herbs on top so I'm gonna put this back in here and show you the herbs but um yeah it's so easy it takes probably less than two minutes okay and these are all the spices I used I'm not trying to brand market I honestly very honestly, it was just going for the best price. So, as long as there wasn't any fillers or anything, sometimes they have these weird fillers so that spices don't stick together. I try to avoid those, but pretty much I'm going to go with the best price. So, this Mister right here, this has uh, olive oil in it, and these things are really cool. I got it at Costco, I think. Yeah. Um, and it basically compresses or pressurizes the oil so you... you get a lot more out of it and turns your olive oil into a spray. So sprayed the chicken with that, uh, sprinkled some sea salt over it. We got paprika, garlic powder, uh, dill, amazing with the lemon, rosemary, and parsley flakes. And the parsley with the cilantro kind of makes a really cool flavor. Really like it. So those are the spices. And then you come back over here. And after you've covered it with all those spices, you would put the lid on very very easy I don't know if that's too difficult for any of you but I really hope not and then you come down here and you uh, I don't know if you if all the crock pots are exactly the same but I'm pretty sure they're gonna be as simple so regardless of whether you have the exact same one or not all you have to do is uh, I wanted this to be super super um, super moist super succulent chicken It's kind of a weird word but uh, I, I want the meat to fall off the bone when I get it so I want it to be amazingly tender, so I wanted to cook it on low for 8 to 10 hours, and I chose 8 hours just because I'm impatient. That's really funny that 8 hours would be impatient, but um, you can cook it on high for less hours, but it's just not going to be as amazing, just saying. Anyway, so you press your cook time and just let it go, and you can do that, let's see, you just let that sit all day, you set it on the 10 hours, you can put it in before work, and when you get home you have dinner for either you for a week or your entire family for at least one dinner maybe two I don't know how big your family is but it's pretty amazing that you can do that so I'm a big fan of a crock pot thanks mama for getting me a crock pot mama Marie okay well that's it thank you guys for watching and uh, if you have any experience with a crock pot or any other herb spices that go really really well um, just to throw them in it's kind of like a a free-for-all like whatever you want to put in there works so uh, this is the cause fitness meals on Monday recipe